Okay, here is the character inside uh, Maya. So first thing first, uh, if I click on it, you see like, oh, this is a very dense mesh. And also everything is quite matched because we have exported it as OBJ. One way to disconnect them is shift right click and split or separate. So now we have the main body as it was. So we can name them body our glasses. Actually, I'm going to put all of this into one folder optics and tongue. And what else? What are these? Our oh, eyes. Okay. Eyes. I'll go and clean name the rest, but first I just want to get rid of the history. I'll shift D. History is gone. Uh, let's see if we can do retopology on each one of them one by one. Um, yes. Okay. So shift right click. Oh, before the topology, yeah, you need shift right click and go to clean up. Make sure that non-manifold geometry is checked and then clean it up. So this gives us the chance to remove any non-manifold geometry if there would be any over there. Uh, shift right click. Retopologize. Um, how many polygons do we may need? I go to the um, display, heads up display and poly count. So this one has 1.6 million polygons. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. I possibly may need only like around 50,000. Maybe. We'll see. Let's retopologize. Okay, it's retopologize. I have to say it's neat. Um, one thing you will recognize after the retopologize, sometimes, sometimes it's a bug that it loses the um, uh, the shader. So make sure you delete the history. Alt Shift D and just click on the shader to reapply it again. So it has much less stuff on it. Uh, I can shift right click and go to the sculpt tool or like the sculpting tools are here. And here we have a very much more uh, convenient relaxing tool. If you hold B on it and and middle click drag you can use this to relax uh, a lot of polygons and when you hold shift it becomes smoothing not so functional on my side I don't know why maybe I have to hold M and oh it's very strong so let's double click on it Strength is high. Let's. Oh, it does something. Yeah. It does something, but not in these areas. It has some sculpting features, but it's just like. I, I usually use this for repositioning, like the, the move tool. Oh. Accidentally. Um, shift middle click and a big move tool is a good reshaping tool for us. Okay, uh, we can carry on and retopologize different pieces. Um, 
I'm gonna rename everything and re apologize and come back okay um, as you will see I just assigned some temporary shaders for now um, and if you look at the topology we have a nice and neat um, not so dense but like enough um, I just cleaned up like here like using the same sculpt tools as well so we have enough um, polygonal shape in a very um, nice topology uh, to be uh, to be sent into substance tensor for substance painter for texturing um, let me name that and I think that's plenty of our stuff in it so let's do UV before sending it to substance painter so the UV mapping for this one um, looks like a cylinder right if I press ctrl 1 on the keyboard so you see that it's it's just a basic cylindrical up object uh, shift right click uh, mapping and maybe cylindrical mapping so you see that this cylinder cylinder is on it if I bring UV editor you will see that um, it has created this cylindrical mapping on it let me just press control control spacebar for better understanding. so it works for most parts but like not everywhere so you see that there are parts with issues so we can start uh, cutting cutting like parts and see what we can do with it so one part that I'm gonna cut um, select edges from here I'm gonna oh is there any edge loop yeah that's that's the difficult part there's no edge loop here I would turn off the um, I'm gonna turn off the symmetry shift right click or control shift right click symmetry turn off the symmetry um, and then go through you can like find your loop and that and then double click further forward and double click further forward then from here to here and there and there okay so here is where things like for me like oop, there's a bit of cut here so I just cut it select that you see the mouth is selected and then I hold shift right click and then cut then this face is in the middle are cut I can move them out I hope that there would be a loop here with oh god okay so this is the big issue all the time when you do the topology things go crazy and you don't get a nice edge loop what about a a loop that goes through oh yeah there's one line that goes through up to it actually goes through all of that and then and then here it gets lost
So I pause the video and I go through and I have to select um, these edges and just um, let's say here for example it would be nice to get a uh, let me just do this cut and then pause the video so everyone knows what I'm doing so I want to go oh, high up high up and up and basically I can go around to here and here and here and here and I will go through all the way back to the mouth so so then I get like a cut over there as well so let me pause the video and do this okay I cut the UV into um, different parts as you can see um, the UV when I select uh, let me just press alt B in the background when we go to so you can see like we have these different parts mm, once you do that you can start like separating your UV islands so like for example for this mouth let me just press ctrl 1 on the body so we only work on the body so this mouth um, you can shift right click on it and say unfold so then you get this like a nice unfolded version so I'm gonna do this for the hands Pressing G on keyboard, shift right click, unfold and unfold. That's for half of the body. Here you once the unfolding happening, sometimes you get this like idea. Oh, okay. Maybe I would better to cut off at some point. Cut, shift right click, cut, and unfold pieces again. Um, and also you get like these like little islands like here that I think they deserve to have their own kind of islands our uh, UV islands so let me just cut here as well cut and also maybe I double click and that's another island is there any line that goes down or maybe I would be able to travel through from like one edge travel onto the heart of it like this actually no that's not no. okay let's unfold this separately and see if what they do how they do it unfold um it could relax a little better here so there are relax uv brush as well um optimize no There is a tool called um, so we can smooth areas of the UV. There is a brush called I think relax brush that relaxes um, the UV on some areas. Um, 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 how we can how we can fix this so here you see that you know UV is crammed in one space that's what that's that's what you don't want so like one way is just cut those parts out I 
I just turn this on so you can see it better um, yeah I was telling that one way is maybe we just double click and then cut that part out then you get this part out maybe this part out too cut maybe so you see that things have been dense here right uh, let's see if there's an edge loop that travels and like kind of gives us or maybe a bit further down yeah maybe I cut out this tip and go to face and like so the um, bump up. maybe we cut here as well face and that one separate so that's what happens in this area too like we can find a nice spot that things go entangled and cut that part and separate it and then unfold it then you get nicer results um, you can straighten UV if you want Oh, it doesn't work and this unfold is fine um, unfold Um, these are I'm not too concerned about it because they are at the at, at here at this tip I think are they yep they are that tip so what I can do let's let's do unfold this part as well shift right click unfold unfold and then we get this cut from somewhere here and unfold that and do the same for here okay so select all the pieces and press ctrl L on keyboard and we get all of them like kind of lined up and I'm gonna turn on oh I don't want any UDIM because this is not a not a very complicated so I make them a bit smaller so we don't get a UDIM which means the repetition so if I look through this things should like kind of nicely distributed all along all along everywhere so so which it is now um, let's do UV mapping for other parts so um, this should not have a complicated UV mapping it just needs some good cuts um, so let's assign just a projected mapping from let's say from Z and then start um, go to one and then cut the area so I unified this so like it's very clear and easy to detect one cut here shift right click here cut uh, one cut here oh, that one just goes down to the rabbit hole so when this happens I press 4 
I just want to select one and then few lines until they reach together few edges and then shift right click here cuts and now we have these parts oh they're not cut it out what about what about automatic UV for this because this is not a shift so I select everything shift right click mapping automatic mapping oh that's not a bad job if I press 6 on keyboard and it is not a good job either so I better do a proper mapping we had one edge here okay <clears throat> I cut and unfolded um, all the UVs on these ones as well for the mouth I don't think we may need a, a UV um, and also for the eyes just in case I drop like a, a spherical UV for it um, just a small UV would be enough with a with a structure as you see on it should be all right now for the eyes I might just um, project a UV mapping from Z direction how I say that by looking at here so and then maybe scale them so so we see something something here okay so once once you got like your UV set um, what you do is you basically first of all let me just delete the history so just make sure is that to assign material IDs so for example here assign a material put a black very bold color and maybe white for this and call it uh, body material this one as well actually this could be renamed frame material uh, these two uh, these two don't have a UV I think they don't but we can do a automatic UV on, on both it would be enough delete the history on them and one single material let's call it glass material I and tongue So when you do this, um, you have you're almost ready to send everything into Substance Painter. I just want to show you um, the setup for Substance Painter. Let me just load it. Wow, 
while substance is loading all you have to do is to export this as export selection I just want to export it on desktop call it um, ghost model as FBX of course um, the version so like this setup shows up just leave everything as is and export it okay so in substance painter when we start new and we load this uh, geometry FBX we created um, this resolution I put it to 4k our templates gonna be just uh, a PBR metallic roughness this first one would do the job for us um, and auto unwrap UV we already have a UV so and there's no camera okay so let's start okay um, I'm not gonna go through uh, um, substance painter um, teaching this is just preparation for substance painter but you can do some tests so here you can see that like um, you have different body parts as different materials um, and each one of them the UV has been loaded so for example for the body I don't think we would be able to apply something just now we can so I usually start with a repetitive pattern and I see like how that does the job maybe a smart fabric here which has some pattern patterns like this one drag and drop um, yeah so you see that the, that middle seam is not that visible for us which is all right this one is a bit visible like the one on the down but that's a good start um, for the frame for example let's search for plastic uh, these are not baked yet I mean like this these um, textures are not usable because we have to go through and we have to start baking the textures first and then the start but I'm just testing things at the moment um, so by like some pattern so like this plastic one if I drag and drop it on the layer on top of the layers for the so um, I can see that yeah I, I can see some patterns and the structure and it works fine without issue so let me just get rid of whatever we have added on different layers um, so I, I can say that we're um, ready to start so then we have to go to texture set uh, settings and we have to bake mesh maps so this is where we start so we need a height map as well but we possibly don't need a uh, we need the model so like you can create multiple maps and then start your texture painting procedure 